We will not, we will not forget Mei Bing Hock and Ender will we forget what BN did to him. Uh, basically, we will not forget Bing Hock because uh, no, Bing Hock was actually uh, seeking uh, a little bit more justice, a little bit more freedom, a little bit more democracy for society. Uh, you know, uh, that, that's what Thomas Jefferson said, uh, a government that fears the people, there's liberty. But when the people fears the government, there is tyranny. So it's uh, seeking also a government that fears the people instead of the people fearing the government. And that there must be, of course, human dignity and respect so that the future generation can live better than their parents. And we will not forget BN because what they did to Bing Hock up to now, there's no apology, there's no accountability. We do not know how Bing Hock died, who is responsible. And uh, there are claims that maybe Bing Hock killed himself doesn't make sense. Or maybe choked himself to death doesn't make sense. It's the same sorry excuse that Mahate made after Anwar Ibrahim came out with a black eye and uh, Mahathe said that he could have punched himself with his black eye. And that's why I think uh, Anwar himself said many times he doesn't believe in all those uh, explanations trying to whitewash uh, Bing Hawk's tragic death because he himself was a victim when he was beaten up by Rahim No, the BN government said that he beat up himself. So they also say about Bing Hawk that he killed himself. And up to now, I think we are seeking justice to find the true murderer. And that's why we will not forget what BN did. And this is extreme cruelty. Government should have some compassion and not be only cruel. And you can see that continuing when they even want to uh, punish uh, those who help the homeless people or help beggars. No country in the world punish a person for helping beggars, only Malaysia. You should be punishing bad people and not punishing those who try to do good.